Welcome back to the Fast Money Halftime Report. Time now for your Power Lunch Trade to Go. Negotiator, you're taking a look at the company formerly known as American Barrick. Mel, love the glasses. You know what they said? <laughs> Nobody rings a bell at the top or the bottom. Well, guess what? American Barrick did when they announced they had bought back all their hedges back in December. You look at their chart, you look at a gold chart. That was the high. You know what? Now with American Barrick, you have market risk, you have company risk, you have organizational risk, all kinds of risk. I don't know if it's worth a shot short, but I think it trades down to 34 and a half here, Mel. Uh, yesterday, you're taking a look at the level of gold. I think 1060 or something like that was uh, the level you're looking 1065 at. Is where, 1065. 1065 is where India got in. That's probably where it has to hold. You know, with the dollar continues to rally, 1065 might just be a speed bump. All right. Time now to call the close. Let's go around the horn. horn do you buy or sell into this uh, sell-off? Scott Redler, what do you say? I think you got to be short into the close, and if you haven't sold yet, look for any bounce to sell some of your longs. Eugene. Hey, yes, I'm the close. I didn't like the jobless numbers. Dr. J. I do think you sell into the close, and you hope that you get something good in the after hours out of Google. Guy Adami. I'm afraid he's scared, but you know what? Everybody thinks Freeport McMoran's going straight up this year. Guess what? It hasn't. Tonight at 5 o'clock, we're going to tell you the level. It has to close above for that uptrend to continue to be intact. Fine tease, Mr. Adami. All right, that does it for us here at halftime. Just a level watching the uh, S&P 500. We took below 11.15, and we are negative for the year. On tonight's